Hi family, welcome back into our channel. This is Prophetess Nikki, and I want you to know how unforgettable that you are to so, so many people. You have left a lasting impression to so, so many people, and you probably don't even know it. You probably didn't even recognize it, but I want you to know that your impression that you have left on the mind of people in their spirit and in their heart is so unforgettable. People will not be able to forget about you. They won't because you are so unforgettable. You brought so much to the table, family. And it's just so unfortunate that a lot of people won't be able to experience that part of your life anymore. This is why whenever God gives us people, we talk about this so much and we show so much interest in this on our channel because we need to be able to recognize and we all need to pray and ask God to open up our spiritual eyes and our spiritual ears so that we can see clearly and so that we can hear clearly. Because when God gives you someone, family, that is going to be a blessing to you, we have to be in a position to be able to recognize this. You are so, so unforgettable. And I just dropped by to let you all know that because this was in my spirit. And I want you to know you've said this. A lot of people probably have told you this. And it's the truth. You've left a lasting impression for a lot of people. They won't be able to forget you. They won't. And some people won't tell you, but I want you to know that some people will not be able to forget you. They won't. Because you brought that much power to the table. You brought a lot to the table. And it's so unfortunate that whenever we're not in the lives of some people, whenever we've withdrawn our presence or we, when we've withdrawn our spirit, when we've withdrawn the gifts and the talents that God has given us, it's unfortunate, but it is true that then and only then will people be able to see what we brought to the table. And then and only then will people realize how unforgettable that you are. You may think you don't matter to some people, but you do matter. You may think that you didn't, what you brought to the table, that it didn't mean anything to some people. But I want you to know that it meant a lot to people. And it mean a lot to people now. You are so unforgettable. You all are so powerful. You're very gifted people. And I want you all to know that. I want you to know how special that you are. You are so special and don't you ever forget it. Don't ever let what you go through in this world make you feel or make you believe that you didn't mean anything. Don't ever let what you go through in this life make you feel or believe that what you did for the good, that it didn't matter, that it was worth nothing. That is not the case. What you've done, it meant so much. And sometimes, family, as we always say on our channel, people won't know that until you're no longer there. They won't. People will not be able to forget you, but you're going to forget a lot of people. It's true. You will forget a lot of people. And you'll move on with your life, but so many people will not be able to move on from you. They won't. A lot of people are going to be stuck in their past with you. Because they're trying to find you in so many people and they can't find you. They're going to try to find you in other things in life. And they're not going to be successful in doing that because they thought they could replace you. They went all over the world trying to replace you because they thought that you were replaceable. So now they're learning a very tough lesson that you are irreplaceable. Whenever God gives us the best, we have to accept the best that God gives us. And we have to have enough know-how. We have to have enough wisdom. We have to have enough knowledge. And we have to have enough understanding to know 
that when God gives you someone, don't you dare look past that. See, when a person doesn't have good interests for us, family, when a person doesn't have good intentions for us, and whenever you don't give a person what they want, you have to always remember this. This is how you know when God sends you someone or, or, or when the devil is sending you someone in your life because it don't matter what you try to do for people. Some people, it wasn't good enough. And to some people, it was good enough. But when those people have poor intentions for you, when they just come in your life to deplete it, when some people come into your life just to take, 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 and they don't come into your life to give, no matter what you do, it's not good enough. And then they're going to search for better waters. They're going to search for greener pastures because they feel like they can do better than you. And guess what? God is going to allow these people to leave your life and to move on to see how well they can do. You can't ever do better than the blessing that God gave you. The person that God gave you, you will never find better. You won't. And they are learning a tough lesson that they missed the boat. They left better to gain nothing. They left peace and moved right into the house of chaos. So now they're stuck right in that place. They're stuck and they're going to have to stay there until God makes a decision to get you out of this place. You are very unforgettable. People will not be able to leave your life and just totally forget you. They won't be able to do that. Because whenever they leave your life, they think that they can replace. Some people believe that what you gave them and how you supported them, they can gain that somewhere else. So they're learning a the hard lesson. We love you on this channel. We're so grateful to God for all of you. Thank you for your support. Don't forget, family, to like our videos, to share them. And please don't get scammed in the comment section. You all see the scammers. So whenever you receive a, a reply... Please delete that reply and continue to report these people. You have forgotten so many people, but not in a bad way. You've just made a conscious decision to move forward with your life. You've made a conscious decision to move on with your life, but so many people are stuck on you and they can't move forward. They can't. They can't believe for one that they got it wrong where you are concerned. This is why you are so unforgettable. You are going to leave a lasting impression. You're going to leave a powerful imprint in the minds of so many people, in the emotions, in the heart, in the spirit of so many people. Because now, family, they're going to see your value. They're going to see your worth. They're going to see what you brought to the table. They're going to really get you not knowing that it's too late to get you because you're not there. And what you were willing to offer, you're not willing to offer these things anymore. And it's not that you have hate in your heart. You don't have malice in your heart. You're not envious of anybody. You're not jealous of anybody. It has just come to an end and you've made a decision. And God has moved you to make a better decision that is to move on. And for all these reasons, people will not be able to forget you. They won't. You will forget so many people and you will move on with your life. But so, so many people will not be able to forget you and move on. They thought they could. And they said that they would. And now they're having such a hard time doing the both. They can't understand what is it about you that they cannot let go of. Because you are a God sent. Why don't you affirm that in the comment section, family? Why don't you open up your mouth and decree this? Why don't you open up your mouth and declare this? Why don't you affirm this that I am a God sent? You were a God sent in the lives of people. You were a God sent in ministries, but you were rejected. You were a God sent in families. You were a blessing that God sent in the family, but these people rejected you. You were a God sent in companies. You were in businesses. 
And these people didn't see your value and they didn't see your worth while they had you there. Now that you have gone on with your life and doing so much better without them, now they can see how irreplaceable that you are. But they saw this a little bit too late. Now God has changed your belief system. Now God has given you new desires and the things that you used to desire, you don't desire them anymore. This is why I always encourage all of us to pray and never to give up. You always pray, family of God. And we're going to talk later if it is God's will. We love you here. Thank you for all of your acts of kindness, your cash apps. Thank you for your super thanks, family. Thank you for purchasing that book, Becoming a Master of Divine Consciousness. By faith, I believe and receive that that book is going to transform your life. It doesn't matter if you get one word, one nugget, one sentence out of that book. That book is for you. I want to thank all of you for what you do daily on our channel to help bring glory to God. Stay in the presence of God. I want you to stay prayerful because whenever you pray, you will be a house of power the more you pray the more powerful you're gonna become if you want things to change for the better in your life you have to continue to pray don't let what you go through will stop you from praying let what you go through be a motivation for you to pray earnestly keep praying because your situation is going to change you are unforgettable you are you can believe that. People will not be able to forget you. We love you here, family. Talk later. Bye-bye.